That report by Vasily Manakakis. Are you sick of going to the same old venues, hearing the same old music and seeing the same old people every Saturday night? Well, if you live in Brisbane, you're in luck. As Sarah Turnbull discovered, there is an alternative which guarantees a very different night out. I don't think there's any nightclub like it in Brisbane and um, I prefer it. I feel um, safer and you meet nicer men. Rock it now, rock it. I love it. Reggae, funk, rock and roll, everything. Not as many drunks. Um, people enjoy themselves without annoying anyone else. It's really good. It's not like any other nightclub, at least not on Saturdays. For this one night of the week, the Brisbane Tavern transforms. Kylie and Melissa are out. Reggae, funk and bongo drums are in. A lot of people have found this place as a very uh, relaxing place. Uh, something different, something they've been looking for. Uh, they don't, they're looking for a place where they will go and feel free and friendly and uh, not worry about um, something like looking out for a partner, um, no, no, not a partner said, but uh, to be picked up for that type of thing. <laughs> You're saying that doesn't happen here? <laughs> you can pick somebody, of course, if the person likes you, but that is not the main aim of the place. As you can see tonight, uh, the more, uh, the more, the uh, night will be on dancing and hearing different type of music, and even a lot of people just come to see the different type of people who come here. Club Afro Carib is the brainchild of brothers Mac and Seth Okine. Both have been living in Australia for several decades, but inspiration for the club comes from their country of origin, Ghana, in West Africa. Music is dynamic, it's not a static type of thing. Uh, we have African music, we have. Uh, European music, we have Chinese music, and we have uh, in music from all parts of the world. Now, there's always a room for them to come together because uh, most places you go, people dance. They have a tune to dance to. And there's no need to limit uh, the music to only one type, you know, and say this is absolute. There's always a room for uh, expanding. The club itself has also expanded into other areas. Some of this stuff looks great. Can you tell me what it is? What's this over here? Uh, this is a uh, chicken uh, made in a Caribbean. Yeah, that one is chicken made in the Caribbean style. It's just beach meals and uh, curry and uh, yeah. But it's mostly, it comes from Jamaica. And which That's one's it. the crocodile meat? This one is crocodile meat. What we've done with the crocodile meat is just, uh, we, we've done it the way uh, we normally make our soup, uh, stews in Ghana. And that is, uh, we just use tomatoes, onions, uh, chili, and uh, ginger, nutmeg, and I just fry the whole lot together, and then uh, add the meat in it, and I just stew the whole lot up. Just a, a little bit hot, but it's very tasty. It's not the fear of most nightclubs, but that's part of the appeal. What sort of a reaction do you get when you walk in wearing garments like this? Oh, the first thing is somebody will ask you, where do you come from? <laughs> because obviously they haven't seen somebody so adorned with so very bright clothes like that. Or they say, where do you get this? Oh, oh I like this. Oh, this suits you, or this look good on you, and things like that. It's another avenue Club afro Carib is pursuing, importing materials and garments mainly from West Africa. Uh, if I may go back much further into history, uh, say like the chiefs wear these kind of things, and the chief has to be seen by everybody. So when a chief comes to a derba or something like that, a, a big gathering, you can point very easily that that's the chief there because you can see him wearing something very bright, which is very different from everybody else. And nobody else is allowed to wear something to conflict with what the chief is wearing. It's a style they say has already taken off in Europe and the United States. The garments aren't cheap. For a hand-woven outfit like this, you're looking at around $250.
but you're paying for quality and the possibilities are endless. Uh, it could be war like this, like a big war like this, you know, when you put it around yourself and uh, it can be sold into a suit, you know, up and down, uh, suit with a coat, trousers. Like a pants and top. Yeah, and everything. With some guy with a uh, hat and some guy with a tie. It can be used into uh, bow ties and long ties and everything. Where was the deputy? I said I shot the sheriff. But I swear it was in self-defense. The club has already hosted several fashion parades and local reaction to the colourful clothing has been positive. Mac and Seth plan to expand the business further south, which will require even greater commitment of their time and money. But the reward for them isn't a financial one. It is like, uh, what, what should I say? Just like the keys of the piano, you can play the white keys and get a tune, you can play the black keys and get a tune better. For harmony, you have to play the two together. And so just like bringing two types of uh, music together to fuse into the system, it will make it richer. That's the way I look at it. I met people in India two years ago from Europe who heard about this place. Yes. And uh, I love it. It's great. Yeah. What can you do? <laughs> Next, a review of Ethnic Press. This week, it's Radical Gays, The Economy and Albanian Refugees.